All right, guys, this is going to be the final part of episode three. Seriously, thank you guys for all love and support. You're the best audience ever. And with that being said, let's do this. I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I feel like something really bad's about to happen. I'll like, scout ahead. I don't know. <laughs> I just have a bad feeling. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna say she's right. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. Alright, let's see if this shitstorm is about to happen. So far, so good, man. I'm over here creeping. You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. We go in, we get out, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right, let's hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. I need to throw something. How's your throwing arm? Well, there we go. Is there another thing I could throw? Let's try this thing. There we go. What the hell was that? Let's check it out. Oh, the thing was too close to first. us, I felt like. And we better run. Still got it. Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Oh, shit. Javi, where is he? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. 
Then let's go. Wait, Javi. While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. She's a scary lady. But don't worry, David's gonna handle her. He knows what to do. Scary how? The people who shot you answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you know this already. This is not our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. Oh, this is a I'm tough sorry. choice. I just can't. I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. <laughs> Gabe, come help. I got it. Come on, buddy. I'm not Reminds going, me of... Oh. What? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. I'm sorry. Gabe, please don't do this. I'm sorry. I love you, Uncle Javi, but this is something I have to do. Gabe, no. Kate? No. Please, Gabe. Please. I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you, don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Kate, come on. We have to respect his decision. I can't. Look at me, Gabe. Please. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. I guess he didn't feel the same way. You can't take it personally. Gabe just misses his dad. I get that. It's just hard to say goodbye. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Easy now. No need for violence. That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Uh-oh, come on, bitch. Let's do this. Kate, run! <laughs> uh. 
She was like running off in slow motion there. <laughs> what was that about? I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady friend. Leave? I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. Were you really gonna desert me when I needed you most? I'm sorry, David. We thought it was for the best. Great. Good to know you've got my back. Where are they now? Girl got away. No sign of the kid. We'll deal with this later. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. You don't deserve respect. Not after the things you've done. What things? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Raid? Joan, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? Don't be afraid of her, Max. We've got your back. Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I've prevented. All of you remember the winter, how much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close, so close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Prospering off the suffering of other people? That's no way to live. No way at all. You're damn right about that. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell?! Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. You put yourself before the group. We can leave. Please, just let us. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. Interesting. All right, let me see what we got.
All right, well, that is it, guys. It's kind of weird it didn't do, like, next time on The Walking Dead or anything after the episode ended. So, uh, yep, with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. And, uh, I guess I will see you when episode... Let me see really quick. Uh, let's see here. Episode 4. All right, when community is threatened with from within, Javier manages unlikely alliances for the safety of his loved ones. That's kind of what I figured it was. Now I can kind of see where it's going. And then we got... Faced with great sacrifices to say, oh, I can't wait to play that one. All right, well, I love you guys, and I'll probably see you, <laughs> hopefully not in three more months, but just whenever episode four does drop. So uh, thank you guys for all the love and support. You were the best audience ever. And with that being said, take it easy.